Welcome back to the channel Seriously True and today we are going to know what is typhoid. Without making any delay, let's start the video. More than 60 years back, typhoid epidemics used to claim thousands of lives every year. But now, on account of research and advancement in medical science, it has been controlled largely. Typhoid fever is an acute infectious disease caused by the typhoid bacillus. In medical terminology, it is called bacillus salmonella typhosa. It enters the body via contaminated food, water or milk and finally reaches the bloodstream. It infects the blood and poisons the system. Among its main symptoms are fever, cough, headache, skin eruption, enlargement of the spleen and a fall in the number of white cells. Persistent fever develops which gradually rises, reaching up to 39.4 degrees Celsius or even 40 degrees Celsius. After a spell of one or two weeks, it starts falling. In about 30 days, the temperature becomes normal. Formerly, the treatment was entirely symptomatic and supportive. After 1948, specific treatment with antibiotics was developed with which proved to be very effective. Medicines like chloramphenicol or Tetracyclines provide suitable antibiotic therapy. Cold sponge baths help to control the high fever. In some severe cases, the doctor may even go in for blood transfusion or infuse blood plasma. There is a special blood test that becomes positive during the second week of the disease. This is called the viral test. Also, the germ can be grown in the laboratory from the patient's blood urine or stool usually during the first week of the disease. The present day treatment of typhoid is the bed rest, consumption of intravenous fluids to combat dehydration caused by diarrhea and appropriate doses of chloromycetin. Most of the major typhoid epidemic have been spread by pollution of public water or milk supplies. The uncooked food can also be contaminated by a typhoid carrier. Flies may also carry the bacilli to food. Some of the typhoid patients continue to carry its germs even after they are cured. Public sanitation and personal hygienic care are vitally important to check the spread of this disease. Typhoid patient should not be allowed to handle food. Special vaccine made from dead typhoid germs can protect a person effectively for several years. So guys, that's it for today's video. Now you know what typhoid is. I hope you liked the video. If so, do click on the like button and for this video, I'm expecting more than 50,000 likes. Do share the video with your family and friends and keep watching. Seriously true. Bye-bye.